Hey there, so today we have another review. This is courtesy of Matt. Um, he's one of the, actually the first people that reached out when I moved down here. And uh, thankfully now I move like uh, I live like 15 minutes away from him. And he's become a really nice personal friend. Been over to his house. He's been over here. Um, not been in any reviews, but he's a home brewer recently. <laughs> and uh, shout out to Matt. So he really recently went up to uh, Minnesota for his family. And this is Barrel Theory. This is DDH Full Scent Hazy IPA Nelson Citra T90 71. And Battle Theory, they do some crazy barrel stuff. Remember what I saw on Instagram? Um, they have like a horse collab coming out, and some other like Elijah Craig Battle Age stuff, so like some Battle Age stuff. But on draft right now, IPA heavy, IPA heavy, Kettle Sour, uh, very much hype kind of stuff. So uh, if you're doing that, I hope they execute well. Let's we'll see how this hazy IPA turns out. So it's extremely pale. Uh, comes with like a really nice kind of like a straw color, uh, pretty much opaque, like it's full, full haze, uh, fluffy white head. Mmm, smells nice. That's a beautiful combination, right? Citrus, citrus, and Nelson, cheater hops all day. Um, big orangey character. Um, I get like limoncello. Um, but then like you get a little bit of Nelson on here too. Slight hint of white grape, a little, definitely a lot of cantaloupe. Honeydew. A little bit of white grape and that kind of Sauvignon Blanc gooseberry character. A little bit danky, thyle heavy. It smells fantastic. Cheers. Quite Nelson forward, so they, get to, they mentioned uh, Nelson Citron. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> wow. Wow. Very Nelson forward. Um, with Citron maybe supporting it. Um, Nelson could be a little bit one note, a little bit thyle heavy. So maybe a little bit of the complexity of a little bit of like a tropical pineapple and orange from the citrus to hold it up. So now you get a launch of uh, honeydew, cantaloupe, uh, uh, canned pineapple, uh, white peach, gooseberry, a Sauvignon Blanc, white grape. Mm. Kumquats. A lot of kumquats. That's what I was getting on the nose. Kumquats. Kumquats for days. A little bit of that kind of like polyphenol dryness. It's like sort of like scraping the tongue, uh, the teeth a little bit, but in a nice way where it's that kind of drying character. Sort of a place of bitterness that you don't get from hazy IPA. Excuse me. Silky mouthfeel. Um, uh, doughy. A little bit of sweetness in that malt as well. Compliments the uh, uh, huge rich... Nelson Citra uh, combination here. That's a good hazy IPA. I mean, like, and also it, it drinks maybe not all the way to double IPA, but seven seems low. Like, I would have guessed like seven, five, eight. Yeah, I would have guessed maybe like double IPA. Mm, nice aqueous qual quality on the back end. Um, don't really sense much chalkiness. That's a fantastic hazy IPA. Yeah. Fantastic. Wow. Really well done. As you wait more, just a lot of kumquat, juicy melons in the middle. Oof. Like, just like. Yeah, I love it. I feel it reminds me a little bit of the treehouse that I had that um, was sent by Jeff that was produced in the non Charlton facility that was like that other facility they had that was, I think, it was a Nelson uh, Citra. It might have been, I think, a Nelson Citra, but. Um, 97. 97. That is a clean, just great example of Hazy IPA. Nelson Forward. Light, pretty. Little sweetness in the milk. Yeah. That's just like exactly what you want. Um, a little bit of polyphenol. And the strange thing is like, sometimes the polyphenol is like vegetal, like on the palate. But this one's like, like teeth teeth scraping which is a little bit interesting but 97 absolutely fantastic barrel theory first beer I've ever had from them thank you so much matt that is crazy good so if you ever know about this brewery uh let me know that is good cheers later